I'm John Langford, and I'm a candidate to be that next president of the AIAA, and I'd appreciate your consideration and your vote. AIAA president and fellow Dr. John S. Langford has been one of the preeminent leaders in aerospace since first joining AIAA as a student in 1977. Few have done more to lead the Institute into this new era of aviation, especially in the field of unmanned aerial systems. Over the years, John has led and participated in a number of AIAA forums, such as back at the 2014 AIAA Aviation Forum, where John was already highlighting the rapid evolution of UAS and its limitless growth capabilities, as well as the opportunities made available to small aerospace firms. That kind of growth prompted the development of a number of successful UAS businesses in the defense sector, and I think their names are well known. General Atomics, obviously one of the biggest in situ, AAI, Aerovironment, Aurora I would count in that group. Businesses that were, were primarily small companies that grew up and helped drive the innovation that led to that dramatic increase of UASs. At the 2016 AIAA Aviation Forum, John provided additional insight during his remarks on the ascent of unmanned. Now one of the challenges in this when you talk about drones is you need to figure out what you're talking about because this is a drone that's, you know, 49 bucks. That's a drone that's a thousand dollars or so. This is a drone. This is the other big thing people talk about. And this is a drone. So you have to be careful and I think explicit when you're talking about policy because just to paint all of these systems with the same brush can lead you to some kind of misleading conclusions. In the same discussion, John identified December 1st, 2013 as the dawn of the commercial UAS revolution. I think we'll look back on December 1st, 2013. That's the day that Jeff Bezos went on 60 Minutes and talked about package delivery using small drones. John encouraged everyone to go buy their own drone and took a moment to illustrate the unique capabilities of UAS. The quad rotors allow us to fly like Peter Pan. Who knew there would be such a market for a 300 foot long selfie stick, which is really what most of these things are being used for today. They have made remarkable progress. This is a flight just over a site where five different civilizations have lived here and built structures in the past. And the ability to carry um, a drone with you allows you to get that third dimension and that perspective in ways that you just can't see it from standing on the ground. And at costs that are completely different from operating a large scale airplane. How many people have flown uh, a drone or have a drone at their house or their kids have a drone? Let me just see a show of hands. So it's, a, it's, a, it's a good, um, the rest of you should, should go get one <laughs> um, because it's, you know, you have to say, so what's the big deal? And, uh, and, and I think it's because what these things do is they, they entrance us. They, they provide a view of a familiar world but with different eyes. In addition to John's pioneering efforts on UAS, he served as an exemplary AIAA president since 2018. This is a priceless opportunity to drive home a strong message to the public and to our elected representatives about the importance of space and aviation to America's economy and to the continuing importance of world leadership in our profession. It can serve to galvanize a new generation of engineering professionals as we build AIAA into the professional society of the future. On behalf of Dan Dumbacher and all of the AIAA staff, it's a real pleasure to welcome all of you to Aviation 2018, where our theme this year is expanding the envelope, partnering for transformation. John has also been a mentor to countless aspiring engineers. It's fantastic to see hundreds of young AIAA members who were totally into this idea of creating their own airplanes and then flying it in this competition. And therefore didn't miss an opportunity during remarks at the 2019 International Astronautical Congress to pay tribute to AIAA's 2019 Diversity Scholars. Now this is a week about celebrating the power of the past and also the promise of the future. And a key part of keeping that promise is building our diversity. This is something that we at the AIAA are passionately committed to. Last week, we cheered the first spacewalk by an all-female crew. And this week, we are joined by 25 diversity scholars. And although we call it the American Institute of Aeronautics and Astronautics, the AIAA is truly a global organization. 
I invite everyone here to join if you're not already a member. Diversity makes us stronger, and one need look no further than this room to see that the human exploration of space is an endeavor that we all share and that can continue to unite us. Whether talking about general aviation, UAS, or the exceptional job John did as a very active leader of AIAA, his contributions to our industry and to the Institute have been incalculable. While we here at the Institute must soon say farewell to John as AIAA president and wish him well, we know it's not goodbye, and we look forward to lending our support to his future endeavors and to his continued leadership of the Institute.